Hi, I'm Mali Cecere and welcome to this edition of Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. This Sentinel-1A radar image, captured on March 16th, was processed to depict water in blue and land in earthen colors. It features some of the Azor Islands, about 1,600 kilometers west of Lisbon, including the turtle-shaped Fayal, the dagger-like São Jorge, and Pico Island, with Mount Pico reaching over 2,351 meters in height. The image highlights the differences in the relief of the islands, with volcanoes and mountains clearly standing out. Fayal is part of the central group of the Azores. The surface area covers 173 square kilometers. It has some 15,000 inhabitants, and its main municipal seat is the city of Horta. Different shades of blue decorate the houses, which divide the fields and line the roads, giving Fayal the name Blue Island. In the 18th century, the development of whale hunting brought whaling fleets to Horta. By the 19th century, Horta had become an important seaport and a layover for a large number of yachts crossing the Atlantic. Along with other islands in the archipelago, Fayal is of volcanic origin. In 1957, a big eruption about one kilometer from the coast ejected large quantities of lava and ash, forming an islet that later became connected to Fayal Island by an isthmus. Unique among the Azor Islands, São Jorge is uncharacteristically long and slender, and so susceptible to ocean erosion. The island is 55 kilometers in length, with a mountain range forming its backbone. At 1,053 meters, Pico da Esperanza is its highest peak. The island has an area of 246 square kilometers, with an obvious difference in the relief between the western and eastern sections. The western coast is lined with cliffs, while the east is smoother. Similarly, the northern coast has sharp cliffs, while the southern side is less inclined. The island's 9,500 residents have lived in relative isolation for many years. Disturbed only by seldom visits from the authorities, commercial boats from the local islands, or the occasional aristocrat who comes to contemplate the local scenery, life on São Jorge is very relaxed. However, with the inauguration of its ports and the airport in 1982, commercial ventures have grown, especially exporting local cheese, animal husbandry, fisheries and a small craft industries. Named after its imposing mountain, Pico Island is one of the most beautiful and underrated islands of the Azores. Its history was forged on whaling and wines. The famous Pico Wines and the UNESCO World Patrimony designated vineyards, as well as wooden boat building, are contemporary features of Pico. Whale hunting gave way to a movement of study and observation of whales, dolphins and other sea mammals. Since volcanic eruptions ended 300 years ago, Pico is considered dormant, adding to the island's mystery and making it a magnet for scientists. Sentinel-1A has been in orbit since April 2014, monitoring the marine environment and mapping water and soil surfaces, among other major applications. And that brings us to the end of this edition of Earth from Space. Remember that we broadcast online every Friday at 10 o'clock Central European Summer Time. Watch us on our website or through the ESA app on your mobile device. From the ESA Web TV studios, have a nice day and a lovely weekend.